Well, I watch some of the big fish were at Blenheim on a Friday afternoon. You're on the grass track at Blenheim, first of two days. It is the Water League Cup. Very keen on one. I reckon it can win. I'm going to highlight it to you next on WW. Yeah, nice fields at Blenheim on a Friday afternoon. Twilight Affair, they've got a 10 race program. Let's have a look at race number four. It's a maiden race, a horse that uh, was very good first up. It's named J.R. Bromack. Let's go back to Rangiora. Now, this is the early part of January. The horse in the red and white colours, the Ken Barron colours there, uh, driven by Blair Orange, was J.R. Bromack. Now, gets run down late by Atomic Blast. Hit a mile in front of the third horse, and they got right away. I thought it was really nice. Uh, qualifying run was good. Draws off the front here. Thought it's hard to beat race. 4-7 J.R. Bromack. Main dangers, he's a flying from Robert Dunn's barn. And also Midnight midnight in Memphis, a lot from the second row, could represent a little bit of value. Let's go to race eight. It is the feature. It is the Water League Cup. And very keen on the Westport Cup winner. Let's go back three starts ago and have a look at stars tonight winning the Westport Cup uh, just after Christmas on Boxing Day. Got a little bit rough inside the last 150 metres, but he was too good for them. Defeated Tango Tara. After that, he lined up the second day, ran second. And then, of course, he went to Richmond when a really good race behind Kendra. I thought the grass suits him. I thought he's off the front. He's very hard to beat. Stars tonight, John Dunn, Main Danger, Yorkshire and Rock and Roll Rod. But very keen on him as one of the best of the day. Let's go later to the program. Go to a horse that should be at nice each way value. Its name is That Alexander Guy. Let's go two starts ago to Eddington. Now this is a pretty good field. This race was taken out by better than fast in the lime green. That Alexander guy looked like it was going to hit it but just came to the end of the run about 100 out. They got a lot of way in front of the third horse. After that, didn't get a lot of luck in a very good field beyond stars tonight. If you go on this run two starts ago and a good draw, you'd be at a nice price. Race 10, number 6, that Alexander guy takes on the very smart if you say so and also the likes of Cheddar Valley. Here's our three for you on Friday. The Multimakers in race 4 at 7, J.R. Bromack second up. The best bet goes round in the cup. It's number eight stars tonight and the value's in the last at six that Alexander guy.